Okay, welcome to AMAC Tutorials with Little Music Bear Crash Course for Integration. Now, if you are able to pass AMAC, please skip this video and proceed on with your revision. Because this video only covers the extreme basics. If you have completely forgotten how to integrate all your new no idea how to start. Okay, so this is the general formula for integration. Now, you may be wondering, it seems quite confusing. So, what do I mean by this? Now, I'm going to use a very simple example to just go through you quickly on basic integration. So, this is the sign for integration. So, for example, let's try integrating 2x to the power of... Okay, 2x cubed. So, now, as you can see, when you integrate this, the 2 does not need to be integrated, so we can leave the 2 out first, and it will be very easy for you to consider on from this state. To start in the formula. Now, if you do not understand what this formula is trying to talk about, uh, don't worry, it's just power plus 1 over the new power. So, now the power here is 3, so power plus 1, you get x to the power of 4 over 4 because it's divided by the new power and you must always remember to plus c unless the c is already given to you or they give you coordinates and ask you to find out what the c is but you must always remember not to live out the c because it could lead to us being deducted if you're callous and afterwards you continue to simplify you get 2x power 4 simplify further And there we go, this is the final answer. Now, this is only the first basic kind of integration that you should know. Besides this, you also need to know the formulas for integration of trigonometric functions and also logarithmic functions. So I'm going to give another example. Okay, for integration of e, It's basically just copy the thing plus C. Basically, it doesn't really have any kind of thing that you should take note of. But, if example, they give you... Like, tell you to integrate... 2E... Then, your answer would just be... e to the power x plus c. If you are being asked to integrate ln, then we'll try another example. You'll be given to integrate in this form. In this case, you will just have to type the reciprocal and you get 2 ln x plus c, which is fairly simple. And lastly, for trigonometric integration, you just do the same thing, it's just the opposite, basically just do the reverse plus c, and this is what I'm aiming to you to you do, and you get it. Now because there are quite a lot of concepts here, we'll exceed 5 minutes by a little bit. Definite integrals. Now, what do I mean by definite integrals is, when you see this, Let's say you have two numbers here, and pair to integrate, that's a definite integral. So, you do step 1, to integrate, using the previous methods I taught you. Step 2, if you start in 5 and after that, you start in 2 for the other one, so you have two expressions. For example, after you integrate, you get x to the power of 2. Then, if you sub in the 5, 2, it will be like this. 5 squared minus 2 squared. And there you get your answer. This would also be used to find an area of graph. So if you see questions relating to the area of graph, 
you can use this method. And lastly, to get your first der derivative from your second derivative, you integrate. So example, you have this, and you want to find this. You integrate. And if you want to find this, you integrate a second part. Similarly, if you want to do it the other way around, you differentiate. And that's how you solve equations. If they ask you to find the equation and they give you a derivative. And okay, that's it for MF tutorials with Little Music Bear, Crash Course, and good luck. Hope you do well. Bye.